Let's explore how to use your free scoring board cover gift from Papercraft Inspirations 146 to make 3D Christmas makes like this card. Take your scoring board and your scoring tool. Turn the board upside down onto the card you want to use and stick it down onto the card. You can use masking tape, that's what we're using here. Or if you've got some washi tape in your stash, you can use this instead. It works just the same and it looks much prettier. Turn the paper over so that the board is now on the back of the surface. Looking under your paper, find the beginning of one of the grooves that radio out from the centre of your star shape. Using your bone folder tool, feel along the grooves, scoring into the paper. You don't want to press too hard, you're not trying to push through the paper. Just use the pointed edge of the bone folder to push gently into the grooves to indent into the paper and mark the fold lines you're going to need to make your 3D shape. Once you've scored all the lines you need, remove your scoring board and turn the paper over. Now you're going to cut out your star. Here we're marking it from where we saw it at the edge of the board. If you'd rather make a smaller star, you can always score through the shapes on the scoring board to mark a different design and then using a metal ruler, follow along the lines you've made to trim your star to the size and shape that you want. It's important to have removed your scoring board before this stage or you'll find that you cut into the plastic as you trim. It's also important to use a metal ruler here as a plastic one will just get damaged as you work. Now you have your star shape ready scored. Work your way around the star, following the score lines and folding them in a series of mountain and valley folds. This helps to give the star the lift and lowered appearance and the 3D finish that you'll need in your final card topper. You can use the star just like this as a lovely topper for a card. Or if you want to make the poncettia flower shape that we showed you in the card at the beginning of this video, you just need to make some quick notches in the side of the design to separate out the petals. If you go back to your scoring board, you'll see the notches in place there to show you where you need to cut. And then simply work around trimming these five shapes to create the petals for your poncettia topper. Have fun with your scoring boards!